Benvenuti, prima di tutto mi presento, sono Federica Davoli dall'Università di Trento, eh, do il benvenuto a tutti a questo nostro seminario di diritto ecclesiastico, l'argomento è i rapporti tra Stato e Chiesa nei paesi europei, prevalentemente nei paesi post-sovietici. Eh, io parlerò del rapporto tra Stato e Chiesa nella Repubblica Ceca, la mia presentazione sarà tenuta in inglese. Um, Okay, first of all, the first census in the post-communist era in 1991 has been highlighted that the 45% of the citizens of the Czech Republic uh, claims affiliation with a religious society or ch any church. The 40% of them claim no religious affiliation and the 16% of them did not respond. After the com communist era in 2001, another census has been held and the people claiming no uh, religious affiliation uh, were grown from 40% to 59%, while people claiming religious affiliation, affiliation dropped from 45% to 32%. And as far as I know, in 2011, another census has been held Uh, seeing about the 20% of the inhabitants of Czech Republic claiming religious affiliation. Now a brief historical background about the lands. Um, for main, the main part of its history, um, the Czech lands have been uh, belonging to Christianity, first in the 9th century where the Czech lands were part of the Great Moravian Empire, until the 15th century when the Czech lands were part of the Holy Roman Empire. There has been a, a brief period in the 7th century, 17th century in which the Czech lands were uh, so a Protestant majority but uh, among the 1620 and the 1648 the Asburg brought the recatholization of the of the lands and the Protestantism was, was outlawed. Um, in, in 1781 the Emperor Joseph II published this letter of tolerance and another few dates that has to be reminded is uh, 1848 and 1867 when a new liberal constitution has been released stating the principle of cooperation among churches and the parity of them most importantly. In 1918, as, as, all, we, as all of us know, Czechoslovakia, Czech, Czechoslovakia was created and in 1920 they released the first um, their constitution declaring um, individual freedom or religion. During the Nazi occupation, um, the Catholic, of course, resisted and were persecuted for it and uh, their influence was growing but the influence of communists was growing as well and in 1948, as in the main European country, a uh, communist uh, occupation was brought and it lasted, as all we know, in, until 1991. In, uh, during the, the communist era, the church, church was tolerated, but um, the Marxist ideology of atheism took place, became a sort of new state religion. Churches and, sta and religious society were officially tolerated, but uh, the property of them was nationalized, the school were abolished, the training of clergy was held by the um, three state uh, theological faculties, the salaries were very low and they suffered from a point of, uh, the point of geographical limitation for their activities and their missions. In 1950 the civil marriage was the only one uh, possible and uh, the religious education at school was permitted but in fact Uh, children attending religious uh, education were discriminated. In November 1981, the communist police violently interfered with a public demonstration and the so-called Vagvat Revolution took place, leading the last communist president to resign and a new government to be formed. The legislat uh, legislative provisions, which were against human rights and all the provisions against church, was, were abolished 
and a new, more democratic uh, government was created. Uh, for what concerns the legal sources, the cons um, constitutional law, the Charter of Fundamental uh, Rights and Liberties, which was promulgated in 1920, uh, became part of the Czech Republic Constitution. And according to its Article 10, all the international agreements on human rights and fundamental freedom and liberties are immediately binding and supersede any contrary, contrary national law. For what concerns the international treaties, at um, in a multilateral level, the of course the international covenant on civil and political rights was ratified in 1975. And for what concerns the bilateral covenants, the modus vivendi that was concluded between the Church, uh, the Czechoslovak and the Holy Seed in 1927-28. Uh, is of course no longer in force, was not in force even during the communist her uh, era. And in 1999, uh, new steps were taken, a new commission was created for the creation of, on, uh, of another agreement, but as far as I know, there is uh, the working paper is still under work. For what concerns the legislation, which affects the church and state law, <coughs> Uh, the first law was uh, given in 1991, stated freedom of religion, while the provision for the registration of the churches is of 1992. For what concerns internal Czech church and state treaties, we have the pastoral service in freedom uh, in prison of 1994, the agreement of cooperation between the Ministry of the Defense and the Ecumenical Council of Churches of 1998, and the agreement on cooperation between Czech Public Radio and the Economical Council of Churches of 1999. Czech Republic is regis, uh, religiously uh, neutral, upholding the principle of parity and autonomy of every church. This non-identification principle is of course a reaction uh, to the former regime, but in any way and in practice, uh, despite the official principle of non-identification, the present model can be described as a relationship cooperation because in fact state collaborates with churches in many areas. Churches and religious societies are considered by the, by, by the Czech law as voluntary organizations of people which shares the same ideals, the same religious values uh, in an association with its own structure, internal provisions and ceremonies. State registration is necessary, is a necessary condition for the activities of churches and society. The registration is carried out by the Ministry of, of Culture. The, pro the process can be appealed and the registration can be revoked. Uh, the members required are dropped from 10,000 to 300 members. And the registra registration provides churches with legal entity status and the so-called special rights, uh, which can be obtained after 10 years of following the date of the registration. For the special powers, churches has to have 10,000 members. <coughs> and the necessity of registration could be seen as a limitation of religious freedom. All the registered churches and society are legal entities under the Czech law for what concerns the legal status and the auxiliary organization. These are under the competence of every single individual church and society. The ministry has just to keep uh, every auxiliarity under, uh, in a register. For what concerns schools, there are three categories of them the one established by the state, the one established by the church, and the one established by the pri some private bodies. For all of them, of course, has to be registered, and church schools are fully paid by the state, while the church provides for facilities. There's an admission test, and no uh, religion affiliation is required. For university, uh, the university can be private or public. There are five theological faculties since now. And church, church also founded several post-secondary schools providing the theological education. And this school prepares the students for basically teaching religion in the future. Church can organize religious classes in all public schools. 
as, a, an, as an elective subject and teacher are paid by the state. All students can attend, as far as I know, no religion uh, <coughs> affiliation is required and no alternative is uh, offered. Instead, in church-run school, religion courses are available, but alternative courses are available too, such as ethics. And of course, for what concerns private schools, they are free to admit every kind of religion courses, which can be mandatory or voluntary one, they decide. For what concerns labor, the, um, a decision of the Constitutional Court in 1997 rejected the, the, the jurisdiction of the National Court for what concerned disputes uh, dealing with the termination of an employment relationship uh, involving members of the clergy since the Charter states the Church administers its affairs independently for the state, from the state authority. For what concerned the financing of the churches, um, of course under the communist era uh, all the properties were uh, taken from the church for the state and after 1991 the problem was not solved yet because with the act of restitution the church uh, affair was not, uh, was not, uh, was still open in some way because the properties were given to municipalities and there were acting act, legal acts prohibiting the restitution. As far as I know, in 2012, a law has been, has been introduced in the Czech Parliament uh, dealing with this problem. Legal status of the clergy do not differ in any way from the one of any other citizens. They have the right to vote, they have testamentary freedom, and regarding the military service, they are often assigned to humanitarian services. The state, of course, has no obligation for recognition of order names, so the inclusion of the title in some legal documents is totally a matter of goodwill. For what concerns family law, in 1991 the religious marriage was restored, recognized as, va as valid, and individuals now basically have the freedom to choose between the religious and civil marriage. As a conclusion, um, for what concern society nor members of churches uh, are satisfied with the present system as far as uh, the, before at least the, the introduction of the new law in 2012, because uh, the churches felt uh, too much uh, dependence from the state and on the other hand the citizens were claiming to pay taxes for keeping and the maintenance of the church uh, services <coughs> and in 1991 also two commissions has been created for the dealing with this problem and as I said before there's a law uh, which is under, uh, under work in the Czech par uh, parliamentary my presentation is over, I'm going to introduce now the next one uh, by Angela Putrona, dealing with church and state in Serbia, and thank you all for your attention.